If you're an avid shell collector with your ear to the ground, you may have been hearing the online shelling community talking about Holden Beach, North Carolina. Recently, I had the opportunity to check it out for myself, and I can truthfully tell you that this place is every bit as shelltastic as the hype suggests. here at Holden Beach <laughs> and uh, we are going to be finding some seashells. Heard a lot about this place and uh, I've got Yuki here. We are driving up from um, Florida visiting with family and we're going to check this place out. Heard a lot about it and enjoy the beautiful sunrise. So that beautiful sunrise is just occurring right now and there are quite a few shellers on this beach at 7 a.m. I am very surprised. So already look at these piles of, of drift here. Let's see if we can find something cool. So we're going to be walking down a little bit but I do want to see there's just a lot of stuff here. I see a lot of arcs and stuff like that. I do believe there's been some dredging that's occurred here, which is why uh, why this is such a hot spot right now. Come here, baby. Come on, Yuki. My baby. Let's go, Mama, down here. So we're going to see if we can join the Holden Beach Club here and find any shells. Let's do it. So I'm not sure what time... You know people got here <laughs> but there's tons of people it is five of seven in the morning and uh, there's tons of people already on the beach this is crazy I didn't expect that but we're gonna do our best to see if we can find some cool things Come here, baby so already God, we got some beautiful base scallop there there, another one here, some beautiful stuff. So I haven't featured North Carolina on this channel yet, and um, we're about to do that. A little mossy arc, nice stuff. So let's, uh, let's work our way through these piles, shall we? Come on baby, let's go. Little shark eye here already really good. <laughs> I thought this would be picked over, but it's not. Beautiful. Shark eye with the sunrise. Despite all the people, there is still quite a bit of drift. And treasures in the drift. So we got a baby's ear there. Quite a few mossy arcs here. And I could pick up tons of those. But also with a little baby's ear and that's the piece of the letter doll. So check that out. Some mossy arcs and a baby's ear. Right there. Another beautiful little shark eye. Nice stuff, man. This is great. This is cool. Look at this rough scallop. That is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful find here on Holden Beach this morning. All right. First awesome gastropod of the day, a little pear whelk. It is viciously cracked, but I will try to preserve it. That's kind of cool. A little pear whelk. Yuki says, this is a cool beach. We've never been here before. It's a cool beach. Well, I see pieces of knobbed whelks and things like that. Uh, You can see that there is 
Wait a bit. Here. Mostly arcs and things like that, but there are some little olives and stuff dotted in. And another baby's here. So there's definitely stuff here, for sure. Let's keep looking. I gotta tell you also, my hands are freezing. It's about 38 degrees. And it is cold. Little shark eye. This place is awesome. Tons of shells. And a gorgeous sunrise. There are tons of baby's ears here. That's kind of cool. Look at these beautiful shells, man. This is just a rack line forever here. It's crazy. Calico scallop. Okay. So, just found a really nice little lettered olive. Right here, there's another one here. Actually, that's two lettered olives in nice condition, too. Very, very nice. Oh, I'm excited about this find. A gorgeous, bittersweet, you know I love these. Awesome, awesome find here on Holden Beach. Love it. See a lot of those on uh, southeast coast of Florida. Come on, baby. Good girl. So, sun is coming up here, and uh, we're continuing our walk down Holden Beach. Just endless piles of drift, on and on and on, which is really cool. Uh, so, North Carolina is kind of interesting because uh, it's one of the last, last touch points where the Gulf Stream uh, runs up along the eastern seaboard of the U.S., and then it kind of cuts out and heads off uh, towards Europe. So you can find all kinds of sorts of uh, interesting shells um, that are more uh, tropical species, or tropical-like, I should say. Um, I mean, I'm seeing pieces of horse conchs, true tulips, banded tulips, uh, that sort of stuff. So um, it's really cool to see like Florida shells uh, this, this far up north on the eastern seaboard. Um, so we're continuing to look. We've kind of made it past all the crowds, but this is a hot spot, I guess. And uh, I believe it's because they did some dredging here a little while ago. And uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff is just washing up. So we're going to continue our search here. You can see it all. Beautiful logger. And that gorgeous sun. It's risen.
Okay, this is really cool. Just found a whole little banded tulip. The world is good. That's awesome. It's tiny, but it's cool. All right. Going to our first hole. Lightning whelk of the day. That's a pretty nice find. Gorgeous little one, too. Ooh, and right next to it, I didn't even see it. It's a little channeled whelk. That's cool. Right next to each other. A lightning whelk and a channeled whelk. Beautiful. All right, Yuki sees a dog, so I gotta, come here baby, come on. Come here, it's okay. I wanna take a look at, uh, just kinda sift through this pile here and see if we can find anything. So, obviously there's many arcs. Arc shells and cockles. Um, but what do we see if we get close, right? There's quite a few olives. Really, tons of them. Um, I've seen some shark eyes. Kind of cool piece of coral. All right, little auger over here. Anything else that's popping out besides olives and augers? We got a little shark eye. Juvenile. That's cool. Fun stuff. Got a piece of a, a larger olive there. So this is, if you get down close. Ooh, look at this over here. So, ooh, got a, a really big auger there. Another one here. Beautiful shells. Ooh, dropped an olive. This is cool. Uh, we find some of these up in New England. I think this is a Tagulus. Tagulus? I could be saying that wrong. Really, really cool find. And another. Oh, that auger's broken. But that's cool. Nice find. Well, it's by no means whole, but that is an Apple Murex. See if we can find a, one in better condition. But in the meantime, man, what beautiful babies here, right there. Some tons of babies here on this beach. All right, so state shell of North Carolina. That is the piece of a Scotch bonnet. Maybe we'll find a whole one. That would be cool. We'll keep looking. But that's a nifty find. Really cool find here. We have a Kiner's Welk. So this is a cousin to the knobbed Welk. I think it's actually a subspecies of the knobbed Welk, which is also related to the Lightning Welk. But I think we're reaching a part of the beach where these piles haven't been combed through. So that is a really, really cool find. Probably one of my favorite finds of the day. Kiner Welk. Y'all, I want you to see the top of this true tulip here. So I'm gonna actually hold on to that because that is freaking gorgeous. That looks like tulips in the uh, in the 10,000 Islands. That is, oh man, if that was whole, I would be on cloud nine. Look at the color on that, red. I've seen pieces of them here, but this is a full top. That's awesome, I'll hold on to that. So yeah, we've finally reached a point where there's no shellers. We walked past everybody. It took about an hour, but we got out. And I'm noticing that the piles are producing better stuff because they're not picked through. So let's keep going. How you doing? Are you enjoying Holden Beach, baby? Yes. Oh, did you find a shell? Will you lead me to it? Oh, you walked past the shell pile. Okay. Okay.
booster drill. That's a big one. It's huge. And it's like orange. Very beautiful. Ooh, and look at that limpet. So again, look at the contrast in color here. So the oyster drill is, is orange and the limpet is that classic dark color. And a lot of shells here that I'm finding are that color. And they commonly in North Carolina will be that color because they sit offshore in sediment in a hypoxic environment, on an uh, environment that is low oxygen, which causes that particular color stain. Cool. Oh my, this is so tiny. <laughs> that is, I believe, a juvenile channeled whelk. Hold on to it. Ah, there's so many tinies on this beach, it's crazy. Look at this beautiful shark eye here. This is the shark eye of the day. Look at the top. So beautiful. Nice. Another gorgeous shark eye here. Yeah, that's a nice one. Look at that. Beauty. And a really, really nice lettered olive too. Now that we've kind of made it past the crowds here, I'm finding a lot better specimens of stuff. Really, really great. So we've reached a couple really, really nice drift piles here. Hopefully, we can get some, some cool stuff here. Let's see. So I think this is worth noting. This is a piece of a Florida horse conch. Yellow. Oh man, it would be nice to find one of those. Woohoo! Another really cool find. Another beautiful banded tulip. And it's whole. Beautiful. And another uh, tagless shell here. I'm not gonna keep that one though, but I will keep the tulip. That is pretty cool. So I'm not gonna keep this, but look at this. See this bittersweet? That is. Uh, aged. It's not the normal color for a bittersweet, but it's still got some character. It's beautiful. Sweet find. You see it, y'all? That's a little nutmeg. First one of the day. Tiny, but it's so beautiful. It's nice. So, I don't know what these are, but I've seen a few of them. Oh my gosh, they're really heavy. I don't know, there's some type of urchin, but they're extremely heavy. Kinda cool looking though. I'll find out what it is. So I just found something and I wonder if it's whole. What do we think? Yep. Oh, that is a perfect little pear whelk, man. Oh my gosh. God, I can't even hold it, my hands are so cold. Perfect little pear whelk. Yes, I love that. Okay. I've probably walked a couple miles. Uh, We're gonna head back down towards the other end of the beach. We'll walk along the surf line here and see if we find anything, and then uh, I'll show you what I found today. Great time, let's go. All right, this is a cool find. No, it's not whole. It's the piece of a giant Eastern Murex. God, if we could find one of those, that'd be awesome. I found a few of those in uh, Palm Beach, but it's nice to find them. All right, right at the high wash line here. Found a gorgeous little channeled whelk. Right there. That is a beauty. What a nice little channeled whelk. All right. Yuki and I are gonna call it the day here. Yuki's a little pooped, so she is laying down. 
and uh, we are gonna go through some of the great shells that we found today here uh, at Holden Beach. All right, let's get some of these out of the bag. Oh, I love that sound. I know you all do too. Ooh, don't want stuff to fall inside the bag. Okay, I think we. Oh. Uh, my assessment is that it is really good shelling. Uh, if you have a chance, an opportunity to get over here, you'll find some great shells. Um, we had to hike down quite a ways to get out of the crowd. I was shocked that there was as many people on the beach that there was uh, be pretty much before sunrise. I don't often see as many people shelling in Florida uh, on some great beaches as there are, as there were here this morning. So if you hike down um, away from the crowds, you can definitely find some uh, shell piles that are untouched. So um, that would be my recommendation if you do uh, a shelling excursion here. But all in all, it is a great place to shell.